move them on. Already on. Well, we can take a selfie and commemorate. See, you got your camera with you. Yep. Thank Jeff for giving me the heads up on this spot. Well, what's up, guys? So I made about a three-hour drive this morning, and I met up with another YouTuber, uh, Jeff Nexus Fishing. His channel is Nexus Fishing. I'll link it down below. He uh, hooked me up with this spot here. Last time he was out here, he caught a bunch of pike. So I haven't caught any pike all year. So I'm gonna make a make a good send at it and see if we can hook into anything. Stay tuned. We'll see what we can get. New Shimano SLX DC here. So I ruined my last reel. Something hit it already. Oh. That's just grass. I'm gonna drop that back down, I think. Three. Where are you pikey boys at? I think that's just grass. Yep. Pull them on. Already on. Is it a pike already? It was like fourth, third, fourth cast. What is that? Oh, don't come off. Did it come off? No, don't come off. There it is. First pikey boy. Awesome. And Jeff with the net job. Perfect. Well, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Been here all of 15 minutes and we got one. Now, let's see if I can do this. I've never, uh, I can't even remember the last time I've handled one of these guys. Slimy. Yeah. Got him? I think so. Boom! Hope you guys can see that. Oh, that is awesome. Now I wish I did have my phone out of my pocket. Oh shit! Oh shit! Did I? Well. <laughs> that was a little bit disastrous. But we caught one. Uh, bash my brand new reel around and hook Jeff in the back. It wasn't too bad though. Well, that's a great way to start the day. Let's see if we can do that again. Shit, you didn't get hooked too bad, did you? No. No, right in your shirt? Okay, well, let's not do that again, guys. Didn't hit as hard as I thought he would have. It was more just a pretty, pretty light tap. It seemed like. Kind of load up on you. Mm-hmm. I do like this new reel. Man, I can't believe we caught one that quick. You weren't lying. They are loaded up in here. Grass. They are slimy, hard to handle. Here to have me do it. I used to have all kinds of gear for it too. Well, that was the thing. Last year I bought all new gear, new hut, and then I snapped my leg and never got to go. So I'm itching to get out on the ice this year. I 
I just saw an advertisement for those. All right, I'll come up there with you. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I think it's the first time I've ever been, so. been checked. Right. Well, we can take a selfie and commemorate it. <laughs> See, you got your camera with yeah. me. We can put you on the video, same with me. I don't got mine on. Right Thanks, now. Yeah. <laughs> so, this bring you clear out from Ashland then? Yep. Yeah. Really? yeah, so Thanks he posted. to me because he's seen the video I put out. Yeah. Okay. Bunch of pike down there, and I haven't caught one all year. Yeah. So we went down there and I caught one in like the first four casts and then we fished for another hour and didn't even get another bite. So, yeah. well, so a lot of the stuff I they did some work down there this spring and I haven't been down there since I've been. But last fall about this time I'd go down there and like say use two and a half inch sassy shad or something like See, that. Okay, kind of, yeah. That's what I, I was sitting there thinking that maybe we were just throwing too big of it. I think those fish got to keep pretty well cleaned up in there. Oh, so yeah. The bigger. I mean, we feet. saw them roll on the surface a little bit up into the spillway, but they just wouldn't hit anything. Yeah. So. <clears throat> yeah. We gave it a go and at least got a main. Right? I got one. I got one. Yeah. So I'm happy with that. Now, did, did Matt tell you that as far as length limits and stuff go? No. It wasn't, wasn't concerned about it. I'll catch you in the Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Uh, the only thing that if I ever caught a walleye then I would have wanted it. Right. Well and what he's and told me is his his definition. I don't know if the fish Harlan County, but Harlan County stilling basin is part of the river. And that doesn't count for the lake limit. So it's statewide limits down below. But Harlan oh, County so doesn't have the spot. Like that there, well his definition, the way he's told me he enforces it is this is all part of the WMA or the state record. So because of that, the length limits are in effect down below. Okay. So if you catch a slot wall on 20 to 28. Awesome. See, I said I was going to go by the slot because I just figured it was the same. Well, and I did that years ago at Harlan County, the first year they put it on. I wasn't even working in this job. A buddy and I, I was a cop in Carney, we took my dad and took my son. And between the three of us, we caught our limit and I 16, 17 inch water. That was the first year they said minimum 19 for the count. So I was stuck with you know, two limits, my son's limit and my limit and another guy. So we let them all go and went up to the island there and asked them and they said, no, that's just part of the river. It's not part of the lake. So huh. <laughs> better safe than sorry. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So, yeah, well, it's just like they call it. Yep. Well, yeah, you can actually go down there and hunt. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there was a guy here a couple of years ago. If you're going to hunt it, make sure you scout it out now. Uh, the guy was out hunting some dogs fell into some type of drainage into the canal. He came out of the canal and fell through the ice and the guy couldn't get him out. The dog died. Pretty high-dollar hunting dog. Um, four-legged fruit. Does that, mm -hmm. that include deer mutton? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You guys have the uh, public access hunting offices? No, I don't. I'll take one if you got one, yeah. Don't do a lot of hunting, but hopefully next year I get into some bow hunting stuff. Go right out my house. Oh, you live out the country? I Close enough. Oh, okay. The point is, I've got turkey and deer that are there all the time. Okay. Good. Awesome. Thank you. So you guys gonna post your videos of any catches on YouTube or yeah. something? Or? I've, yeah. Like I said, I've already got one posted from last week. Okay. I haven't really done much recording today. I'm, just, I'm trying to get him into something more than me. Sure, sure. If you want to check me out on YouTube and okay. Instagram, I upload every three days. So there should be one up today at 4 p.m. Okay. So. Cool.
Well, Gary Gage is here. You aren't catch anything talking to me. So. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Have a good one. You too. All right, guys. Made a move. Uh, we're over at the marina area of this lake now. As you can see, it's still, I mean, it's way down. That's all, all should all be underwater, but we're gonna toss around and see what we can handle here, see if we can hook on to anything. Yeah, it's real shallow. I don't, I, I can't fish off of that thing, although I'm gonna go over to this pier over here, fish. Ooh. Looks like there's a nice little area right here. Stand. See if I can if I can jerk it. What did I catch? Caught something. <laughs> Would you look at that? Right in the face. Yeah, a little shot guy. Well, <laughs> snagged him. It's not what we're going for, but it's a fairly decent uh, representation of what we're throwing. Pretty close. He's not enjoying that hook in his head. We'll just go ahead and toss him back, but uh, fish numero dos, yeah, he's doing bad. Look at that. Did to my fingers. Yeah, I should have just thrown him on his bait. He's dead, laying there. Well, I feel like a butthole for that, but. I think that seagull's gonna try and eat that dead shad. Comes back for it. He's eyeballing it. Go ahead and get it, bud. Get it. He wants it. Eat it, buddy. Find that. Be that way. Oh, he's coming back again. Got it. Right in his mouth. Ooh, that was pretty crooked, but. Okay. Don't feel so bad now. Circle of life was completed. All right, we're gonna try this guy. I don't even know what the name of it is here. Spro, oh, this is what I was gonna throw earlier. Seven to nine foot diver. See if that does any better than the jerk bait did. The only thing we managed to do with that is snag a shad, which it was almost the same damn color. So at least we know that that's what they're eating on. There we go, I'm on. That's a big old bass, I think. That's a Is that a walleye? Oh, that's a walleye. Oh. 
That's a good That's right a there. decent size. Holy crap. Well, boys, we done did it. Pike and I, oh, they get down here. You guys see that? Look at that Mondo. Boom, like second cast in on that guy. That's awesome. Here we go, guys. We didn't get a good uh, video of the Pike that we caught because I, I let that slimy guy go pretty quick. But uh, there we go, we caught a walleye. That's the biggest walleye I've ever caught, and that's my first walleye of the year. So, two firsts today, pretty awesome. I got to thank him for, thank Jeff for giving me the heads up on this spot and meeting up with me down here. It's been a great day of fishing so far. We're going to go ahead and, uh, I'm just going to launch him back down there because I'm not going to try to crawl down by the water. But uh, there we go. What do you think that is? Like 20? I'd say that's probably in that 20 to 22. Yeah. There we go, guys. Awesome. Here we go. Shoop. And he's out of here. Professional releases only, I guess, on this channel, right? <laughs> awesome, man. High five. Good job. That yeah. is sweet. I am stoked. Well, first day out with this new Shimano Corrado. Not Corrado, Shimano SLX DC and i've caught a pike and a walleye overall more than worth the three hour drive just awesome all right guys we're going to close it out for the day uh, we didn't catch a lot today but we managed to catch Two species that I haven't caught all year. Uh, easily my personal best of both species. So it was an amazing day. I wanna give a big shout out to uh, Nexus Fishing, Jeff and Nexus Fishing for bringing me out here and showing me where the spot was. So that was pretty awesome. That was, uh, I guess you could say that's the first collaboration I've ever done on my channel. So you'll have to go check him out. I'll leave his, his information link down in the description, but uh, I gotta get back on the road and drive about three hours to get back home. So uh, I guess stay tuned for the next adventure. I'll see you in a bit.